when you're a single mom, somebody getting your kids every other weekend is a babysitter. That's that's not a dad. Huh? Okay. So Jonathan's dad, Johnny's dad, they would all get them on the weekends. But that's not a dad by far. You tell me what is a dad then? You know, this is going to piss a lot of women off, but I really don't care because I am sick and tired of this as a man and as a dad seeing men be lied on and accused of all these things that are not true. If you're a mom and you have your child with you 24-7, you bear the brunt of the responsibility for your child 24-7. A man can't have that same responsibility if the child don't live with them. You're just jealous because you think that that man has so much more free time and freedom that you don't have. So you want to play this game of, oh, because you come every other weekend, you're not a real dad. And then you spew this garbage around your children, in front of your children, in front of other people and everybody else that would listen to it because you jealous. If you don't want the responsibility of being a mom, stop having children. If you don't want the responsibility after you've had children, then let the children go stay with the damn father. Because I guarantee you, the majority of men are not going to play this game that you play. Men are just happy to be able to spend time with their kids and be a father. They're not worrying about how much free time you got. I'm here to tell you right now, we don't care what they can do and you can't do, or what you can do and they can't do rather. It's very childish and it's very petty and it doesn't help children at all. I had this same kind of experience myself and I'm not the only one. There's a lot of men, there's gonna be men watching this video that have this same type of experience and it's annoying and it hurts children. You wanna hear an example? My daughter who's in the Air Force now She's been in the Air Force and she was, she signed up when she was, what, said she wanted to go when she was 15, turned 18 and immediately went in there. She's in there now. But my daughter would have all these projects that she would have to do for school, science, all these things, right? These big projects. And I would see my daughter every two weeks. And of course I pay child support. I'm not a deadbeat dad. But my daughter's mom, you know what she would do? She would wait until she got to my house so I could help her with the homework. The whole time she's at home with her mom, her mom didn't have time to help her with the homework. But she would wait till she got to my house and push it all on me. And now my daughter is stressed out about, Dad, I don't want to get an F. Dad, if I don't get this grade, then I'm going to flunk at this, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So she was always stressed about not having enough time to do it the right way because her mom wouldn't take time. <laughs> Women. And then her mom would say to me sometimes, well, I have her 24-7. What do you do? I'm a dad. That's what I do. If my child lived with me, I'd be taking care of it. Y'all need to stop playing these games. Again, if you don't want to have the responsibility of taking care of a child, don't have them. If you want to bicker and argue and banter about, oh, you're not a real dad because you just get them on a the weekend, then give the children to the dad. But you don't want to do that because you still want that money. Let's just call a spade a spade. Stop playing. Keep it 1,000 with your kids. Ain't this supposed to be all about them? Isn't it? You have the power to achieve anything you want. Don't let anything or anyone distract you from your goals. And remember, stay focused, stay strong, and stay positive. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with those in need.